thank uh, he and his colleagues who have introduced this amendment uh, for their work. All of this talk about bringing back the fairness doctrine uh, caused me to think about the whole idea of the Federal Communications Commission, set up in the 1930s to regulate uh, the airwaves and the, the, uh, the spectrum that's out there, uh, so that we didn't have uh, two radio stations on, on, on the same wave. This was set up in the 1930s, and then in the 1940s we got into the idea that, well, there aren't that many options in TV and radio, uh, and so maybe we ought to make sure that all of them, in terms of what they say, is fair. Well, that might have been helpful in, in the 1940s and 50s and 60s, but my goodness, uh, we're in the 21st century, uh, where people get their news uh, from thousands of different sources. It could be radio from hundreds and hundreds of radio stations. It could be from TV, uh, where we now have hundreds and hundreds of stations. It could be from the Internet. Uh, it could be from the newspapers. There's lots of places for people uh, to get their news. And at the end of the day, as I think about the fairness doctrine, uh, I think about uh, those of us in Congress. Uh, it's, uh, we get elected based on our constituents and what we're for and what we're against, uh, whether they like us or they don't like us. And if they like us, they might vote for us again. And if they don't like us, guess what? They get to go punch the ballot for somebody else. Well, when it comes to uh, the issue of the fairness doctrine, uh, when we're dealing with radio, they can go a lot of different places. And I think the, the best way is to let the judgment of the American people decide. And they can decide with their finger. They can turn it off or they can turn it on. They can change channels or they can decide to go to their computer and, and read it on the Internet. And the idea that, that people are calling for the fairness doctrine to be called back uh, reminds me once again of why I came here. I came here because I thought government was too big, it spent too much, and no one was holding the government accountable. Let's trust the American people to do what they think is best. Their finger can make all the decisions, uh, all that they need to make on their own behalf. Let's trust them to do the right thing.